How far can we push these new surveillance from Murders at Karlov Manor in the Epic Storm? Today we're playing both Undercity Sewers and Thundering Falls. Let's go check it out. Here it is. This is the list that we'll be playing today and I'm so excited to be testing this out. And well, it's Valentine's Day week and I'm going to play the deck that I love. So this week you're going to get three Epic Storm videos. Deal with it or don't watch. I don't care. I'm going to play the deck I want to. But really, I'm just excited to be playing these new Surveil Lands. And I've played a bunch of leagues this week with Mitra's Bobble, with main deck copies of Echo of Aeons. I'll be honest, that one didn't go very well. But I've learned a lot about the Surveil Lands and what you can and can't get away with. I even got to Surveil once into an Echo of Aeons and that felt amazing. That said, the Echoes didn't really go that well. So today I'm going back to a more traditional list with four copies of Ponder and then two Surveil Lands. We're adding in Thundering Falls in addition to the Undercity Sewers. So you have the Underground Sea version and then the Volcanic Island version of these Surveil Lands. And what I've discovered about them is that you want the blue ones because on the NCEP you want to fetch, Surveil, Untap, Cast Your Ponder or Brainstorm and then fetch. And that's really been the play pattern. So that is why I'm choosing to play these ones. But additionally, if you're going to play, let's say the Bayou version of one of these Surveil Lands, then you only have one untap Black Source in your deck and that's not really acceptable. Where Thundering Falls and Undercity Sewers, they play better to the fetch patterns in my experience. So that is why I'm choosing to play those ones. Another change happened in the sideboard. We're playing four copies of Echoing Truth and no copies of Carpet of Flowers. My opinion on Carpet has been going down and down and down. And I think when Sultai Beanstalk is one of the most popular decks in the format and it plays Force of Vigor and Witherbloom Command and stuff like that, Carpet just doesn't seem great. So instead we're playing four copies of Echoing Truth, which you know will help out our prison matchups and things like that. And I think that we're going to get a little bit more out of those matchups instead of the slight upgrade in mana. And I think that's just, you know, a deck improvement. But that's what I've got for today. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Let me know if you do, and I'll see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. All right, match number one, we've won the die roll. And our opponent was actually my opponent in the video I recorded yesterday. So how funny is that, that we're facing them again? They were on the domain five color Leyline of the Guild Pact Rhinos deck. And here we've opened up a hand that can double surveil. I'm definitely interested in trying this out. We'll play Misty Rainforest, pass. One of the leagues that I played yesterday, and I mean, I've been playing a lot trying to figure out the Surveil Lands, and one of the leagues that I played yesterday, I played both Surveil Lands in the first two turns, which enabled Threshold, which provided me a win with Beseech the Mirror, and I felt like a genius. Like, it was so sweet. So, I mean, I'm pretty high on these Surveil Lands. I know that Alex McKinley went 5-0 with the list with one Surveil Land and was very impressed. So I'm just trying to push the limits and see what we can get away with here. But, I mean... It, they seem like they're going to be a format staple. I mean, if I'm being honest, I think they're already a multi-format staple. People just haven't realized it yet. All right, so we've drawn a diamond. That was pretty good. I actually don't want to change the context of her hand too much. But I guess if I want to fetch the other Surveil Land, I mean, I could also just not get a Surveil Land. I'm going to Brainstorm. I think having the Fetch Land for the Brainstorm is just a little bit better. That was good. So if I hide Beseech, next turn I can go off with Veil back up. Actually, I'd have to draw the Beseech. I'd have to draw the song. So this would be it. All right, we'll play the Misty. And I mean, if you were a crazy person, you could go for it now, but I'm not going to do that. I'd rather have the Veil of Summer back up. Our opponent plays a Brainstorm, so they're not on Rhinos. Misty Rainforest, they're passing. Lion's Eye Diamond, Lion's Eye Diamond, Mox Opal. Let's test the waters with a Veil of Summer. They fetch with their Misty Rainforest. 
They pick up a tropical island, okay. And they fluster storm. So this is kind of a dangerous spot here. I could veil again, cracking both diamonds, but if they have a force, I lose. The problem is that I don't know if I can afford to wait. I guess if I ponder into Dark Ritual and Beseech, that would be fine. Okay, so I think we're going to just play this a little more safe. And based on our opponent having main deck Fluster Storm, I have a feeling that we're facing a Show and Tell variant. Okay. I'm going to play the Ponder now. I know that my top card is Beseech. We will take the Beseech. I don't think I want the Brainstorm. I'm going to end up fetching that away. Wasteland? Really? Okay. So I'm not actually sure what we're facing anymore. I'm going to just pass the turn here. Dress down. So that's Stifle Knot? Interesting. Okay. They wasteland my sewers. I will cast Brainstorm. We found Dark Ritual. I will put back Beseech and Song of Creation. The sewers has been destroyed. I don't think I'm actually allowed to get the other Surveil Land here. Another Wasteland. That's a Phyrexian Dreadnought. Okay. I'm the Encept will fetch. So another thing I could do is get the Thundering Falls. And then... Actually, they didn't play a blue spell this turn. I can't cycle Veil. Let's grab Underground Sea. Go to our turn. Bloodstained Mire. We will fetch. Grab Bayou. Let's start with a Veil of Summer. See if this resolves. Main deck Fluster Storm and Stifle Knot, huh? I'm a little surprised by that. Disrupt. I will cast a Dark Ritual. Our opponent plays a Spell Pierce. I will attempt a Veil of Summer. And we rip Lotus Petal. Wow, we just ripped the win. I'm going to say no. Because our spell can't be countered, we'll draw a card. They didn't have the days. I am so surprised. We got very lucky here. Okay, we'll make a black. Beseech the mirror with bargain, sacrificing the Mox Opal. And we win game number one. That was all luck. No skill involved. But uh, I'll take it. I like being lucky. And we'll board in Besaju who endures. We're also interested in an extra Thought Seize here. And I don't think you actually want Cabal Ritual in this matchup. You saw Disrupt and Spell Pierce and Wasteland. Cabal Ritual is sort of a liability. And then you can board out one copy of Mox Opal. Game number two, we're on the draw. We will keep this. No red source yet, but I think that this hand's pretty good. Misty Rainforest, okay. Beseech the Mirror is a great draw. We'll play the Undercity Sewers. I am interested in a Ponder. Pass. And a Wasteland, okay. If they don't waste me, they probably have End Step Dress Down, if I had to guess. We will play Ponder. All of these are very good. Take the Brainstorm. Pass the turn. Misty Rainforest. They pick up a Tropical Island. Here's the Dress Down. And they just go to their own End Step. On the End Step, I will cast Brainstorm. Putting Song of Creation on top. I mean, I don't want to draw Song of Creation. Play the Misty, and let's cast Thoughtseize. Stifle, Disrupt, Fluster Storm, Hydroblast, Spell Pierce. Yeah, this hand's like unbeatable. Okay. We'll take the Stifle. Pass the turn. I mean, I think with them only having one blue mana, I might be able to bully them a little bit here. They ripped another Stifle off the top. Okay, so we're going to draw Song of Creation. They destroy my underground sea, that's fine. Let's play Chromox. We'll imprint the song. Fetch. We'll grab Taiga. Actually, let's grab Bayou. It gives me double black. Like, it puts me closer to casting this Beseech. Lion's Eye Diamond, and then we'll relay for three. Okay. Dark Ritual, Veil of Summer, Lotus Petal. That was actually fine. Like, that was not a bad Galvanic Relay. Are we actually going to beat this, like, all interactive hand? That's kind of funny. Even if they drew a force here, I think we have it. Play Dark Ritual. Cast Veil of Summer. Whoops. Can't cast it with a black mana, though. The Veil of Summer. They disrupt. I will Veil of Summer again. And our opponent concedes the match. You'll love to see it. Get out of here, Stifle Knot. Hydroblast, Hydroblast, Spell Pierce, Disrupt, Flusterstorm, Stifle, Stifle, Wasteland. Yeah, sure. Get out of here. 
Joking around, of course. Or I'm sure it's like a super nice person too. All right, but we're one to know in this legacy league. Stick around for match number two. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we're on the play. Our opponent's last legacy result was with Beans. We have Guy's Will, Thoughtseize. I'm kind of into keeping this. I believe that the game plan is to suspend Guy's Will on the first turn, and then we'll reconsider what happens after that. But I like being able to suspend Guy's Will, Thoughtseize them, Galvanic Relay, and just apply a lot of pressure, and that's what this hand does. I mean, I want to draw some zeros for both the Galvanic Relay and the Beseech the Mirror, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Suspend, pass. We also have some Surveillance to fill our graveyard for the Beseech the Mirror and help us find stuff. Well, this is certainly not a Beans deck. <laughs> Goblin Ramble Master, you've got it. Uh-oh. Okay, we might be in trouble. Let's see what our draw step is. Guys, well, not ideal here. Chromox, very good. So I can Song of Creation and then Thoughtseize. That seems good to me. All right, so Dark Ritual. Beseech the Mirror, sacrificing the Chromox. We will find Song of Creation. Put that on the battlefield. Play our first land for the turn. We'll fetch. Grab Underground Sea and Thoughtseize. Trigger the Song. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pass here. Okay, well, if I take the Simeon Spirit Guide, they can't cast any of these other red cards. So that's the game plan. I have to pass and discard my hand. The Goblin Rabble Master goes to combat. I will take six here, going to ten life. Guys, Will loses a suspend counter. We'll draw a card for turn. Brainstorm is not a bad one. So we get to draw two cards off the Song of Creation trigger and then three cards for the Brainstorm. Uh-oh. That's a little messy. So, I mean, the song trigger was really good. The other cards, not so much. All right, so now we get the song trigger off Ponder and then the Ponder itself. We'll draw two. Lion's Eye Diamond is not bad. Double Dark Ritual is insane. Holy moly, we just won. Love that. Cast the Dark Ritual. I'm going to auto yield to this trigger now. And then we will Cabal Ritual. Just a ton of black mana. Dark Ritual, Storm 6. Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond. Let's see what they drew for good measure. We'll go to eight. They drew a name sticker goblin. Yep. We'll play a Mox Opal. It's from 10. Tap it for a red. Burning Wish. From 11. And our opponent concedes. Love that for us. Okay. We do not need Veil of Summer on the draw. We do not need Galvanic Relay. That's seven cards out. We have four copies of Echoing Truth. We'll bring all of those in. The Seiju is fine. Like, sometimes they have Leyline of the Void, sometimes they have Chalice of the Void, Thorn of Amethyst, and then we'll leave one thought season on the board. I like this. Let's hit Submit. Game number two, and we're in a pretty interesting spot. So we have turn one, Thundering Falls, and then turn two, Brainstorm plus Fetchland, and hoping that wins the game. Our Turbo Goblin's opponent kept seven. I don't know if I'm allowed to keep this hand, just because even on turn two, I'm probably not going to be able to win. So I think we need to just mulligan for something a little bit more aggressive. And I don't know if this is any better. I think I should go to five. Sure, we'll keep bottom the Echoing Truth and extra land. Okay. Chalice of the Void on zero. Well, that's not very kind. Cavern of Souls, they name Goblin. Simeon Spirit Guide, Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay, I, maybe I was never going to win this game to begin with. Goblin Rabble Master. So turn one Rabble Master and Chal Zero. That's just not very nice. I draw Mox Opal. We will play Ponder. I think I'm actually going to keep the Misty Rainforest here because I need two lanes to cast Echoing Truth. And, well, okay, I made a mistake. I should have thought about the way that I stacked that Ponder. I think I'm about to draw a Dud and not the Dark Ritual. Okay, so I'm taking six. If I'm drawing Dark Ritual, there's still a chance. 
Because I could Song of Creation with a bunch of zeros. Mm, that's tough. Yeah, we're dead. All right, so I messed up. Bummer. Not th I'm not saying I would have won, but I would have provided myself with a chance to win. Instead, we were going to game number three. So a small error there cost me. On the play, I think I want all four copies of Thoughtseize. And we can shave one Echoing Truth. Let's try this. On the play. All right, let's try it. My plan is to put back this guy as well. And we have Besaju for a Chalice of the Void or something else. Chrome Mox. We're going to actually imprint the Echoing Truth, so we only have two of these left in our deck. And then cast the Brainstorm. Put back the guys will and the extra Beseech. And now we will fetch for Bayou and then cast Thoughtseize. Dark Ritual or Cabal Ritual, I believe, win the game. Double Chalice of the Void. Well, we'll take one of them. Play the Lion's Eye Diamond. Pass the turn. Ancient Tomb. Chalice of the Void on one. Okay. Ball Ritual, let's see it. Draw. Okay, I have a win next turn. That's fine. Cavern of Souls. They play the Broadside Bombardiers. They swing, I will go to 15. On the end step, we'll tap the Bayou for green, tap the Chromox for blue, and we will besage you the Chalice of the Void on one. They pick up a Basic Mountain. We draw another Besiege. Dark Ritual. I am now going to hold priority. Cast Beseech the Mirror with Bargain, sacrificing the Chrome Mox. We'll add three black. Play Guy as well. Term three. Lion's Eye Diamond. We get to play Bloodstained Mire. Dark Ritual. Thought sees them. They drew a Goblin Ringleader. Fetch. We're just increasing Storm at this point. I will grab an Underground C. And we'll play the Brainstorm again. Storm seven. We just want a card to imprint with this Chrome Mox. So we'll put two back, throw Mox, from eight, imprint Thoughtseize, tap for black, beseech the mirror with bargain, sacrificing the Chrome Mox. That is from nine, from 10 is Tendrils of Agony. And just like that, we are now 2-0 in this Legacy League. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three, we're on the play. And in my head, I know our opponent is a Boros Initiative player. Well, according to MTG Goldfish, they've recently been a Beanstalk player and here they're revealing a Yorian. So, I mean, Cat's kind of out of the bag, but I would have probably put them on Initiative. However, Yorian giving us that additional information is quite good here. I think we will keep this. Bloodstained Mire. I'm not going to wait and surveil. I just want to play the Ponder. And if we don't have a play for our second land or whatever, then it's a good time to use the Surveil land. But I'd like to get ahead and Ponder here. None of this does anything for us. We will shuffle. Mox Opal. Okay, pass. So like a Lotus Petal or a Chrome Mox just became very good draws. Tropical Island. Chrome Mox. How about that? We will play Chromox, imprint Cabal Ritual, Lion's Eye Diamond. What about a Mox Opal? Galvanic Relay for four. Looks like the Relay resolves Taiga, Lotus Petal, Misty, and Chromox. Not the best, but we should be able to Veil of Summer into a win next turn. They play Flooded Strand, still seven cards. Dark Ritual. I mean, I don't know if that really helps us, but it's a card. Lotus Petal. Let's attempt Veil of Summer. Force of Negation exiling Teferi Time Raveler. We'll play the Chrome Mox. So I have this interesting decision right now, and it's do you play Dark Ritual into the Beseech? And if you do that, it's easier to win. And I can play the Fetch into a Surveil Land to recover. Or I can play the Dark Ritual here. If I don't play the Dark Ritual, I play the Taiga, and then I have a Dark Ritual in hand. But is mana really my choke point anymore, I guess, is sort of my question. And I don't think it is. So I'm going to go Dark Ritual 
Beseech, and I think I want the Surveil Land instead. I'll sacrifice Chrome Mox. Storm is six. Did you open up on Double Force? They did. Okay, well, we will play a Misty Rainforest and pass. They have land number three. Is this a Teferi Time Raveler? It's Yorian. Okay. We will fetch. Likely grabbing the Thundering Falls here. Surveil. I'll take a relay. We're just going to draw pass. They have land number four. The One Ring. Yep. I'm going to close my sideboard. The board's getting kind of, uh, you know, clogged up. I'm going to hold the Brainstorm. So that way I can maybe get a little bit more out of this Galvanic Relay. They activate the One Ring again, drawing up to seven cards in hand. They play Ponder. They shuffled. Land number five. And it looks like they're passing. So we know that out of those six cards, one of them is still a Yorian. We will brainstorm. Orcish Bowmaster is to increase the storm. I think I'm okay with that. Okay. Interesting spot to be in here. I think I'm going to put Petal Burning Wish on top. I think I want the storm count from this ponder. Going to auto yield to the Bowmaster triggers. Play a Lotus Petal Storm 3. Ponder Storm 4. And I think we take the Lotus Petal. Storm 5. I'm sorry, I have to wait for the Bowmaster trigger. Storm 5. And now we Galvanic Relay for 6. We know that we have a land on top, which isn't super good. But I think Burning Wish plus 4 unknowns might be good enough. Burning Wish, Misty Rainforest, Burning Wish, Burning Wish, Lion's Eye Diamond, Dark Ritual. Okay, so we get 3 ways to win. End step the Ley Line Binding. Removing my Lion's Eye Diamond. That could be relevant. It's tough to say. They go to 14 off the one ring. They activate the ring and draw three. They hard cast a Hylorian Revealed. So they're just digging for forces here. Sure. So now they can attack for six. I'll fall to seven. Brainstorm. Okay. We'll play Misty. Cast Dark Ritual. Burning Wish. Storm is two. We'll grab a Thought Seize. Cast the Thought Seize, Storm 3. Force of Will, Leyline Binding, and the other cards don't... Ma I guess they have a Solitude, so they can gain some life here. And the Sword, so they could gain... Yeah, alright. They could even Solitude their own... They could search their own Solitude. We'll take the Force. And I'm going to Brainstorm into the Bowmasters. So this is going to put me to 2, and then I can fetch with Misty down to 1. Well, that just became a lot easier. Okay. You got it. I'm at two. We'll play the Lion's Eye Diamond. It's from five. And now I'm going to sack some Lotus Petals. Old Control. Beseech the Mirror with Bargain, sacrificing Mox Opal. Blood three black. My Storm Count is going to be so high that Solitude and Swords of Plowshares will not matter. They are fetching in response. They find their Tundra. We'll grab another Beseech the Mirror. Sacrifice the Chrome Mox. Storm is 7. And now Gaia's Will. Storm is 8. We'll play Lion's Eye Diamond. Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. I guess my opponent's hope is that I forget that I'm at 2 and cast Thoughtseize. I don't really know what they're up to, but it's fine. We'll play another Mox Opal. Play another Lotus Petal. Throw Mox. Storm 16. Sweet. We've taken Beans down in game number 1. I think I like Besaju in this matchup, and with them having eight forces, I don't mind boarding in the extra thought seas. You can board out one Mox Opal and then the Cabal Rituals. Game number two, our opponent has kept seven. This hand's like really clunky. I think we can do better. Like it plays magic, it's just not good. Uh we're going to five. Like this is also a hand that like looks like it's good, but it doesn't actually do anything. Sure. Chrome Mox on the bottom. Thoughtseize on the bottom. With this hand, we're really just looking to rip a Burning Wish. They lead on Bayou. We'll play our own Bayou. I am not going to cast this Thoughtseize. They're holding open Veil of Summer Mana. But also, like, I don't know how much longer this game is going to go. And if I draw a Burning Wish, I want to be able to play it. Into, I want to play the Thoughtseize into Burning Wish. That's what I'm trying to say here. We'll play Besaju. Pass the turn. Is this an Orcish Bowmasters? It is! The orcs are back. Our opponent casts a Ponder. Scrubland. 
Also, I'm glad I'm not playing Carpet of Flowers. Look at that mana base over there. They still have five cards in hand. Guy as well. Let's suspend it. I mean, they could play a Teferi at some point and that card wouldn't do anything, but there's a chance that this game goes long enough that it comes off of suspend. Land number four. And they swing. The one ring, sure. They draw a card. Guy's will loses a counter. Veil of Summer. I will pass. They draw two with the one ring. I feel like the one ring is going to bury me before that guy's will ever comes off of suspend. Land number five. Fourth arrow link is for three. Yep. So they're feeling pretty confident in their position if that's their play. Okay. I'm at seven. This is my final turn, so it's now or never. They are the monarch. They have seven in hand. I need to draw something good here. Relay is not going to be good enough. We will legend rule our own Besejus. Floating a green. Play Thoughtseize. Take the surgical... Actually, no. I guess I need the Veil of Summer to resolve. Petal. I mean, I'm just not going to win here. Yeah, so they have Pernicious Deed in hand. So what is my out? Like, even if I rip Burning Wish off of the Veil of Summer, what am I doing? They have the answer to empty. I can't relay. I can't echo. Yeah, we need to go to the next game. All right, that game did not go well for us. Let's try it again. Game three on the play. This is fine. Keep. We'll start the game with a Bloodstained Mire. Fetch. And we'll grab the Underground Sea. So you might be saying, why not get the Surveil Land? I want to advance myself. And there will be points later on in the game where those Surveil Lands will likely be better than where we're at. So next turn, for example, might be a turn where I want to use a Surveil Land. And I think that, like, you don't want to give up casting Ponder too often, but there, there will be games where it's correct. Like against, like, a... Delver deck, for example, where you don't want to play into days. So on the end step, you fetch for your blue source, you untap, you play a second land, and then you ponder. Like, that's a choice you can make. But here, I think it's just better to cast your ponder and get it over with. We'll play our Misty Rainforest, and I'm going to brainstorm while they don't have Orcish Bowmasters available. We do not want this Tendrils, and I think I actually want to get rid of the second Dark Ritual. Like, I think the Song of Creation has a little bit more value, at least right now. And step they cycle a Lorian Revealed. They find Underground Sea. Okay. On the end step we will fetch. And we're going to grab Thundering Falls. That triggers our Surveil Land. I think I want the Bayou. Play Bayou Pass. No Orcish Bowmasters. Okay. They're just fine playing Lango. Beseech the Mirror. I will play Besaju Pass. There's a Bowmasters and now I will respond with my Brainstorm. Uh-oh, both Besiege targets. Well, I guess Guy's Will is the one that has to go on the bottom here. Oh, they just did me a favor. Thank you. Yeah, that was good for us. And now they're fetching. The Fairy Time Raveler, sure. They minus the Teferi to draw a card. So when Teferi's in play, you cannot cast the card using Bargain. But you can still play 4-mana Diabolic Tutor. Mystic Sanctuary. And they're going to put Surgical Extraction back on top of their deck. Interesting. We'll take two. We're at 15. Brainstorm. Interesting. I think I want to start on Dark Ritual. And then I'll Brainstorm. This makes their Orc Army a little bit bigger. But I think that this turn will likely decide the match anyway. Ooh, and now they can Surgical my other Dark Ritual and remove that from my hand. Okay. You got it. They have four cards left. And we ripped Galvanic Relay. That's what I wanted to see here. We'll put back Taiga Beseech. Yeah, I think that's the move. Play my Misty. We'll fetch. Grab the Taiga. I'm going to allow my Burning Wish to get forced here. Burning Wish. Storm 6. Their force should be Storm 7. Interesting. That is Resolves. So I could Thought Seize. They would put me to 9, and they have 5 power on the table. I guess Thought Seize is the line here. Play the Thought Seize. They didn't force Burning Wish when this was their hand? What? Wild. We will take Force and Negation, and then Galvanic Relay for 8. I mean, if I had emptied there, I would have won. 
Like our opponent can't do anything versus an empty for 16. Like that was so risky that they just let that resolve. We flipped a Tendrils, Galvanic Relay, Veil of Summer, a Beseech, and another Burning Lash. So their hand is Force, Force, Hydro Blast, and One Unknown. That One Unknown was a Lorien Revealed. That would have been better in their hand. Because that would have given them double Force of Will. I I guess they have the, the Yorian, my bad. But they could have had Hydro Blast, Force, Force in hand. They just gave up a Counterspell. Lotus Petal. So the last land that I can get with this Bloodstain Mire would be the Undercity Sewer. So this is a, essentially not really a mana source. They're at 15. I guess it's kind of free to tap the Underground Sea because I don't have any blue cards. So we'll do that. Thought Seas. I'll take the Blue Elemental Blast. And then we will Veil of Summer from 2. They could force this because it protects me from the Orcish Bowmaster trigger. But I believe I just have the win no matter what. All right, so I can now beseech the mirror from hand for a lion's eye diamond. And we just increase our storm count the old fashioned way. Sacrifice the Lotus Petal for a black. And then it doesn't really matter what land we leave on tap. We're not going to bargain here. We're just going to cast it. So it's minus one mana, but plus two storm. So that's storm six. And I can now cast the other beseech the same way. Black, red, Actually, I'll do black, black. We will cast Beseech the Mirror. It's from seven. Grab another Lion's Eye Diamond. Cast the Diamond. And then if I needed more Storm, I do have enough mana here to Burning Wish into Tendrils, or I can just cast the Tendrils currently in Exile. But I'll play the Burning Wish because it's kind of free. We'll grab Empty the Warrens, and then Tendrils of Agony from Exile. We'll have a good Galvanic Relay. Sweet, we are three and all, two matches left. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Round number four, we're on the draw versus what is likely Grixis Tempo with Stifles. I'm going to keep this. I believe that this guy's will is most likely going to go underneath a Chrome Mox, but we'll see. They bobble themselves, okay. They play an Underground Sea. And Delver of Secrets, you got it. Another Mishra's Bobble. Goldfish said Grix's Temple, but it's actually just Grix's Delver. I don't know how I didn't notice that. I'm going to play Misty. We'll play out the Chrome Mox, imprint the guy's will. Fetch. Go grab Underground Sea. Let's ponder. This allows us to play through days. This is pretty good. Keep. Pass the turn. And they Mishra's Bobble themselves. This way they can set up their Delver trigger. So that way it's more likely to flip. And it flips to Force of Will. That's a good find. Volcanic Island. Molten Collapse on my Chrome Mox. Sure. They have four cards in hand. I'm going to play Burning Wish here and see if they daze. Or if they force, I'm super happy with that. It resolves. I will grab a Thought Seize. Pass the turn. They ponder, tapping Underground Sea. They shuffle. Misty Rainforest, okay. I'll take a hit. I end up at 13. And now we're drawing the Besiege. Let's attempt the Thought Seize here. We know that they have Force. They Brainstorm. Okay. Thought Seize. And they have double force land. We'll take the brainstorm. Pass the turn. I'd really love to draw a dark ritual. They play the land. So they have one unknown card in their hand at the moment. I fall to eight life. Mox opal. It gets me pretty close. I think I want to try to bait them here into countering the burning wish. Burning wish. And they let it go. I'll grab echo. And let's put Veil of Summer on the stack. A Force of Will, Pitching Force of Will. I will now pass the turn. So next turn I can come back and just Beseech the Mirror for Guy's Will. Our opponent has two unknown cards. Another Molten Collapse. Brutal. I go to five. Okay. Lotus Petal, D Lion's Eye Diamond. That'll do two. Dark Ritual. We can play through a daze here. Beseech the Mirror, Sacrificing Mox Opal. 
Oh no, this is the game that I exiled my uh, my my guy as well. So the Chrome Mox. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess I can Echo, or I could Song, and then next turn. Yeah, it's probably Song. I'm dead to a Lightning Bolt and an Orcish Bowmasters. I'm dead to a lot here, but I think that this is the move. I did forget that we exiled the guys well previously. I guess that's on me. Go to cleanup. Discard our hand. We discard the echo. Our opponent draws. It's wasteland. So that would stop me from flashing back echo of aeons. They have one card in hand. My best draw is pretty much any zero mana spell here. I'm at two. We draw for turn. It's a lotus petal. Beautiful. Play song, uh, play the Lotus Petal Song of Creation will trigger into double land. That was terrible. So I'm going to echo and I need them to not draw Orcish Bowmasters or a Lightning Bolt. Should I play the Misty? Probably. Uh-oh. I have to echo. I would have preferred if I just drew, you know, not, like this Lion's Eye Diamond so I didn't have to do this. Play the Diamond. Okay. Another Lion's Eye Diamond. Mox Opal. Lotus Petal. We'll play a Chrome Mox. Term is 7. Imprint this Galvanic Relay. We will cast Dark Ritual. There's a Veil of Summer. Let's cast a Cabal Ritual. Storm 9. Dark Ritual. Storm 10. My concern here at this point is how do we beat Stifle? Also, if they're just slow rolling and decide to Lightning Bolt me. And our opponent concedes. Nice. Okay. So they must have drawn nothing, but I'll take it. We want the Besejus. And I think that you can just side out Cabal Ritual. Clean swap. Let's try this out. We are now in the second game. We've opened up a hand that's all mana. You can't keep these, even with your Surveil Lands. If this hand had a Galvanic Relay, I would keep it, but no. And this is not bad. Double Besejus is a little weird. Actually, you have both your Besiege targets, too. I don't know. Against better judgment, I think I'm going to keep... Having Relay versus Delver is very good, but I don't think that this hand is anything special against Delver. Turn 1, Dragon's Reach Channeler. Pro Mox, that was actually a very good draw. I can now Galvanic Relay on turn 1, but I'd be playing into a Daze. So I'll just pass. Flooded Strand. They search out Underground Sea. Free Delver of Secrets. They have four cards remaining in their hand. We'll take one. The Lotus Petal. I guess the Lotus Petal means that I don't have to imprint the Song of Creation now. Let's try Lion's Eye Diamond. Lotus Petal. Mox Opal. We'll play the Chrome Mox. Storm is four. And Galvanic Relay for five. No Stifle. Lotus Petal, Chrome Mox, Brainstorm. Beseech the Mirror, and Lion's Eye Diamond. Not a bad relay. Would have preferred to have some protection in there, but I'll take it. They left in Lightning Bolt, and they Lightning Bolt me. I go to 16. They do get a Surveil here, and they put another copy of Lightning Bolt to the graveyard. So even though it would have flipped their Delver, they said, I'll take my chances. I don't want to draw another Lightning Bolt. They play a Ponder. Surveilling away a Dragon's Rage Channeler. So that gives them creature instant land. And then when Ponder hits the graveyard, that will be the fourth type and they will have Delirium. Wasteland. Okay. Goodbye, Besaju. They have three cards remaining. They attack for four. I go to 12. Another Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay. Let's play Petal. And let's Brainstorm. Firmus 2. They force a negation, exiling force of will. What is your last card then? Is it Fluster Storm? I'm trying to make this make sense in my head. Play Lion's Eye Diamond. Let's play Chrome Mox. Imprint the song. Play Lion's Eye Diamond. We'll add three black. Tap the Song of Creation Mox, and now we'll bargain away the Chrome Mox that's empty. So that is resolved. Is it Stifle? I'll grab another Beseech the Mirror. Let's get rid of Mox Opal. I guess we'll Guy as well. Not really sure what's going on here. And in case they have Flusters from... Okay, they just... I don't know. Uh, I wasn't going to sacrifice the Diamonds here because we could still win through it. But that was my game plan. 
Um, yeah, so we're 4 0, about to play for a trophy. Stick around and watch match number 5. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The final match and we are facing the current trophy leader who's been on Grixis Delver. All right, this seems like a keep to me. We'll play the Undercity Sewers. Surveil one. Galvanic Relay is certainly welcome here. Pass the turn. Volcanic Island. And now on their end step, we're going to grab the other Surveil land. And uh, it's just this small advantage you get. You could say like, well, Bryant, you would have drawn Galvanic Relay anyway. Yeah, but what if I didn't want to draw Galvanic Relay? Like having that option is just so good. So I'm giving up my ability to get a green source here, but I don't think that matters because I don't plan on casting Vale of Summer right now anyway. And I will keep the Mox Opal. Lion's Eye Diamond. What about another Lion's Eye Diamond? How about a Mox Opal? Underground Sea? I think I'm going to try to get them to interact with this Vale of Summer. Storm 4. Spell Pierce. I will not pay. And now Galvanic Relay for 6. No Stifle. They're going to daze a copy. I'm not paying. Song of Creation, Veil of Summer, Brainstorm, Brainstorm, Brainstorm. Well, if you have an Orcish Bowmasters, it's going to be not bad. They fetch. Okay. And there's the Bowmasters. Sure thing. We draw Ponder. I'm going to start off with a Brainstorm. Hmm. I think I want to... It's actually kind of tough. So Bloodstained Mire would get me a little bit closer, but then I can't, hmm, okay. I think I've figured it out, Blood Beseech will go on top. We're gonna take some damage here off Orcish Bowmasters. So we'll take three. I'm going to play the Bloodstained Mire, and I'm going to hold priority, cast Ponder, and then I'm going to hold priority on that, cast Cabal Ritual. In response to that, we will sacrifice for blue, sacrifice for green. And now that gives me six. And in response to that, I'm going to brainstorm. So this will give me threshold. We'll put Taiga back. It will let me click it. Come on. There we go. Lion's Eye Diamond will be the other. So I'll take three more damage from Orcage Bowmasters here. A little uh, stack abuse here. And you might have been able to say, like, Bryant, you could fetch. I wanted to draw this Besiege, so I didn't want to fetch. A Ball Ritual on the stack now. And Ponder still on the stack, I will cast Veil of Summer. Storm is 5. And it resolves. Interesting. Okay. We'll take the Lion's Eye Diamond. They get another Orcish Bowmaster's trigger, but I am now protected. So they will target themselves with the Orc. We will fetch. Grab the Taiga. And I guess it's kind of free here to play Song of Creation. Drawing all of the cards. Lion's Eye Diamond, Storm 7. This Orcish Bowmasters is going to be huge. We'll play Misty. Play Chromox. We get the trigger. Bowmasters again will shoot itself. With that trigger on the stack, we'll brainstorm. We drew our last untapped fetchable, so we're going to put that back off the Misty. So we'll put back by you guys well. And this orc is just going to be gigantic. We will fetch. Grab the bayou. Chromax can now resolve. Imprint Beseech the Mirror. The Ball Ritual again. And now we can Beseech the Mirror for Tendrils of Agony. Sacrifice Mox Opal. Grab the Tendrils. And cast it. So that's going to be game number one. We're one game away from greatness. Okay. We want the Besejus, and I think, once again, you decide out Cabal Ritual. Game number two, we've opened up pretty decent hand. I'll try it. Flooded Strand. For an Underground Sea Ponder. They play a Mitra's Bobble. Use it targeting me. Their last list did not have any Null Rods, but it did have two copies of Counterbalance. We draw Brainstorm. I'll play the Thundering Falls. I don't think I want Song of Creation. That can go to the Graveyard. Wasteland. Into Orcish Bowmasters. Okay. 
You got it. We find another Besaju. I'll play Chromox. Imprint a Burning Wish. Play Besaju. Lion's Eye Diamond. And then we're going to relay for three. It's like a painful truths, right? Chromox, Meyer, Underground Sea. Not the best Galvanic relay. And they just turn painful truths into divination. And that's assuming that you count Chromox as a full card here. Double Wasteland. Ouch. Okay. So we'll take two. They have five cards left. We draw a land. I think I'm supposed to play the Underground Sea. I'll play the Chromox, but I'm not going to imprint. We'll just pass the turn. They find another land. And there's the counterbalance. We have the Besaju in hand. We'll take two. They have four cards remaining. We draw another land. They attack. We'll go to 13. Chrome Mox. I mean, our draws could have been better. This is a number of duds in a row here. I go to 11. Another Burning Wish will pass. They have seven. Cards in hand, that is. I'll go to 9. Dark Rituals, the draw will pass. And stuff they brainstorm. Meltdown. Oh, that's so brutal. Yep, that hurts. You go to seven. Another Chrome Mox. Another Orcish Bowmasters. So if I brainstorm right here, I would take Lethal. I can't brainstorm here. I go to six. And then I take three, going to three. On the end step, we'll fetch. I'm at two. Grab Taiga. And then we will blow up the counterbalance. They do get a land. And then we'll grab our Surveil land here. I'm at one. Definitely don't want to ponder. We draw one anyway. Ugh. This game was not great for us. Attempt a Dark Ritual. They Spell Pierce. I guess I'll pay and then lose the days. Yep. All right. Game number three. No changes, just sending it back. For the trophy, the final game of this league. Sure, this seems reasonable. Play Misty Rainforest, pass. They also have a Misty Rainforest. Into Delver of Secrets. You got it. All right, we will fetch and grab the Undercity Sewers. Surveil one. Yeah, I want a Dark Ritual. I want a Dark Ritual right now. Let's go. So... I could go Lotus Petal, Veil of Summer, Chromox, Beseech. I mean, I'd lose to like a Daze. So I think I'm supposed to pass. Delver, flips to Ponder. I mean, Dark Ritual is a very good draw, though. They play the Ponder. And Polluted Delta. I think we want to grab Thundering Falls here. I have Lotus Petal for green. Trigger, Mox Opal. So it gives me a little bit more mana, but is that mana even... I mean, it's probably what I want. We'll keep it. Play Lotus Petal. Mox Opal. Chrome Mox. With this trigger on the stack, let's Veil of Summer. Storm is currently four. Our opponent is fetching with Polluted Delta. They pick up an Underground Sea. Spell Pierce. I will pay for the Spell Pierce. Veil of Summer. And it resolves. We'll imprint Beseech the Mirror. So Dark Ritual is from 6, Petal is from 7. Yeah, this is, we just 5-0'd. Dark Ritual, Chromox, no imprint. Sacrifice the Lotus Petal, we will cast Beseech the Mirror, bargaining away Chromox. Grab another Beseech the Mirror. Cast it, bargaining away Mox Opal. And we will grab Tendrils of Agony. Our opponent said GG's. I mean, our opponent's just like such a nice person. I've, I've played against them a bunch of times. Uh, I believe that they're also a member of this YouTube channel. But we got there. Pretty exciting. We got the 5-0 trophy. Alex McKinley is going to be so happy. I've been testing out a bunch of lists with Mishra's Bobble and Echo Veons, and Alex is just like, Ponder's better. Uh, Alex, you're a great friend and everything, but I know how you feel about Ponder. And I played Ponder, when undefeated. He's never going to let me hear the end of this, so I had to get that little jab in there. But the list felt pretty good for Echoing Truth. It came up against Goblins. I think that's the only matchup that we cited it, but the list felt very good. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, double surveil land equals 5-0. The math is there. You can't argue with it. It's just they're that good. Go buy your surveil lands. You no longer need Volcanic Island or a second Volcanic, or, I'm sorry, or a second Underground Sea. I misspoke. 
But yeah, we just cut a bunch of money from the deck and made it better. All right, that's all I've got for today. Enough uh, hyping up these new cards. I really do appreciate you watching. Have a great day, and as always, keep storming. Hey you, yeah you, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it, and if you're interested, you can visit theepicsforum.com slash donation decks to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel. You can even join me in a video in the epic tier, it's totally worth it, I promise, and uh, see ya, thanks for watching.